around. And now, they're a fashion statement! Hey everybody, it is Nicole again, and guess what? It's my third wish haul, already. Every time I come home from work, all my kids or my husband come to me with my wish packages and they're like, no problem. So I've had to tell my husband that I've only spent like 50 bucks on there to be completely honest, maybe a little bit more, but you know, it's cheap, so why not? I guess let's get started. It's a small haul today, small haul, small haul. So I only have five packages. Uh, I'm not sure if there's more inside the packages, but we will see. So. Let's get started. So the first item uh, on the outside says eight simple stud earrings. I think I know what it is, but we'll see because we all know we've been surprised before. I know what this is. So these are Christmas presents. Uh, one is for someone and then one is for another person. So I'm not going to show you. They're super cute. Maybe I'll do a wish haul after Christmas so I can actually show what they are. Okay, next. This says earring. Alrighty then. So you may remember from my first wish haul that when I opened up a shirt, I found um, an earring, a, a pair of earrings, which I was actually wearing them yesterday. They're my favorite earrings that I've received so far from Wish. Those are my favorite, and then these are probably my second favorite, so I got these from Wish as well. I was saying that it was weird because I ordered more than just one pair. So shout out to Ajax What for telling me something I should have realized myself, that it was a free pair of earrings with that shirt. Duh, Nicole, that makes perfect sense. And the reason why I know that is for sure is because I finally got those earrings. So I ordered these with my first round of Wish items. So like two months ago. So it finally came in. All right, first of all, I'm gonna show you the back. I am obsessed with these plastic earrings thingies. You guys know that I use my iPhone to film my videos, so I don't have the fancy zoom and all that stuff. Someday, maybe, whatever. So it's the plastic or the, I don't know, jelly, whatever. Finally got the fake pearl earrings. So I am super excited. Now, obviously I do not need three pairs of the same size. That doesn't make sense. So I'll be sharing these definitely. And I don't know if I'll wear the big ones. I have tiny ears, which is super weird. Two weird things about me. I have tiny ears. So my ears are very, very tiny. Oh, three weird things. Uh, and my ears are not symmetrical. So this ear is flat. My parents don't know why it's flat and this one's not, but it is. And then the other thing is that I have tiny, tiny fingernails. The nail lady at the place, she always laughs because when she does my fingernail, she's like, the brush is too big for your nail. <laughs> Um, they actually have to get them redone, but yeah, my nails are teeny tiny. So anyway, random facts about me. So these are kind of huge for my ears. Yeah, they're kind of huge. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe for some special occasion or something, I'll wear these gigantic things. Next item. All right, so I know what this is because I was talking about it in my second video, my last haul video, because I thought the Dermacol was this, which guys. The Dermacol, I was told by uh, somebody on my channel that it was fake, which I think I probably realized, um, but you know, you kind of hope it's real. I'm going to show you a picture of what my face looked like after I put the Dermacol on. Like, I was not going to show this picture because it is embarrassing. You need to see the color of my skin. Guys, that was awful. Awful, awful. Okay, well, this is exactly what I thought it was. Looks like this, as I pull it out of here. Um, I'm sure it's fake because I've actually owned MAC products before and this is raised. Normally you can't, it's not raised up. Um, and, it, and the M is a little funky looking, so I don't know if you can see that. I don't even care, that doesn't, I don't care about that. All right, so our automatically, one thing that I don't like is that when I move it like this, it falls off. So when it's in my purse and it's jostling all over the place, this thing is probably going to constantly fall off. Now as long as it doesn't show the brush, so my brush stays clean, I'm okay. So when it doesn't, I'm okay guys. I don't think I'll be doing that with my purse unless I'm being chased by somebody and at that point I don't think I'll care about my brush. So 
Here's the brush. It's a travel brush. That is the word I was trying to think of last time. Oh my gosh. No, it's not the word. Not travel. It was, um, <laughs> I don't know. Here it is. So it closes to be about that size. It's kind of big, but anyway. And then you just push it down and you have your brush. The brush is really, really, really soft. So it's pretty much like a kabuki brush. Really all I want to use this brush for is to have in my purse so when I'm out all day, sometimes right up here gets a little greasy and a little like right here. If I can just like kind of buff out my powder that's already on my face, it looks good. That is what I wanted this for. I had one, like I said, from Bath and Body Works years ago. <sighs> R.I.P. Awesome brush, R.I.P. Second to last thing. And this one says, pillowcase. I am redecorating my living room. I'm actually painting it this week, so that'll be exciting. Maybe I'll be able to show you guys that. So I'm getting rid of the orange. Oh, see that? I said five packages, but in one of them, I got two things. So right here, is what I ordered. There's the price and all that good stuff. Here is what it looks like in person. And oh my gosh, it's super cute. So it matches my curtains, though the, my curtains are this, this exact blue. I am a fan, yay. All right, so the next item is in a smaller bag. I'm so nervous to cut. Oh! So I just said, so I was just thinking, please don't cut the product inside. And guess what I did? Look what I did. I cut it. I cut the product. I kind of have a feeling I'm okay with the cut because just looking at it in here, it's not great. So let's see what this is. So this is what I thought I ordered. It does not look like the picture. I mean, it kind of does. What it looks like is somebody took a picture of grass and then turned it, like changed the color of it to make it more gold looking. It's not burlap, which is amazing, because I really, I, I mean, I've been getting burlap constantly, so I thought that's all they did, they had. So when you look at it like this, it's, you know, whatever. So there's the hole that I cut in it. That's okay. And then the next one, the pattern is pretty similar. So even on camera, it doesn't look bad, but in person, it's, it's not great at all. It's really blurry. Like the pattern is really blurry. So do you see what I mean about grass? It kind of looks like, it looks like grass. So I don't know. And it's the in, okay, that's weird. The fabric inside is like pink. So it's showing through. Oh, it's, uh, it's like red, reddish orange. So, so yeah, it shows through, but okay. Not a fan. That's okay. Last item. This one says household goods. So this is what I ordered. Let's try not to cut the product again. I travel a lot for work. As you guys know, I just got back from Georgia and I'm going to Alabama in a couple weeks. Then I'm going to, then I'm not traveling for a couple months and then I'm going to Florida in February. And then about a week after that, I'm going to California. So. I have a lot of traveling ahead of me. And at some point, I'm hoping to go back to Rhode Island where my family lives. It looks pretty much like it does online. So, <laughs> okay. Sometimes people need to, I don't know. The, the reasons behind why they write their taglines and stuff, I don't understand. So this says travel season travel. And then down here it says travel season. And it says travel with travel season is always diving into the different and new world. I mean, it makes sense. So it has a handle, which is really good. It kind of reminds me of a lunchbox from like Walmart. So that fabric. I do like it so far because, all right, so it has this like insert thing that you can put different items in. And if you can see that it has Velcro and the Velcro, I believe is supposed to stick on here. So if I take it off, and then again, right here, we have two more pockets. And then this is, this is pretty deep. It's, I would say you could fit like a shampoo, a conditioner, and like, I don't know, heat protectant spray or whatever you use. And then in here you could do foundation, you know, foundation, primer. What else do I have? Lip stuff, 
I don't know, whatever. Whatever you want. I don't care what you put in here. Then you have this little, this little Velcro thing. So I guess when you close it, well, you could either do this or this. Sorry guys, my camera angle is terrible today. Oh, okay, so when you close it, this thing, this middle part probably rests on top of your bottles right here. So the only thing that cr drives me crazy about traveling and you know cool stuff like this is that I don't check bags because I am so afraid that they're gonna lose my stuff. When we went to Nicaragua the first time, we had to check everything. We had to check our carry-on everything because we were just last, we were like second to last on the plane and they were like, we don't have room so you have to check it. And I said, are you sure it's gonna get there? And they were like, yeah, 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 you know, we're gonna put it to your final destination, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? My poor daughter went three days without her stuff. So she had to borrow clothes from people. So I just, I don't know, I just get so nervous to check bags. So with that said, when you don't check bags, you have to put all, I still have my stuff from Georgia right here. You have to put your stuff in all of these little bags. Yes, I take hotel shampoo. Um, so yeah, you have to put the stuff in bags, which means, which means you can't put it in, you know, this because then you have to take it out and it has to be in the bag so you can put it in the bucket. Funny story about that too. I was coming back from Orlando one time and I had my three bags because I have a lot of stuff. I mean, man, it takes a lot to look this halfway decent. So I had my three bags and I was running late. Like I was so late to catch my flight to Charlotte and they stopped my bag and, or they, no, they didn't stop my bag. They stopped my bucket full of those plastic things. And they were like, um, how many people do you have with you? I was like, it's just, it's just me. So they said, well, that's just a lot of product. I want to be like, <laughs> okay. Sorry, and it does say everywhere one bag or something, but who the heck travels just one quart size bag? And it can't be a gallon size bag, it has to be a quart size bag. But seriously, like, who travels with one quart size bag? I mean, I can't help it that I have a lot of crap to travel with. TSA, Judgy McJudgerson. Well, there's my my uh, my wish haul. This is probably my second to last one for now. I'm waiting on a few more things. I can't remember how many things, but I do have a microphone coming. Um, it looks like this. So it. I'm hoping that it will make my audio better right now until I invest in another camera. It's just. It is real close to Christmas and I'm not all about spending a bunch of money on a new camera or any other such thing until I know that, you know, YouTube is like, I'm going to stick with YouTube for a while, which I plan on it, you know, but I don't want to invest a lot of money right now. So anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I will see you all real soon. I'm actually getting a schedule ready to start making sure I upload on a regular basis, but on a consistent basis. So I'm thinking on Thursdays, I'm going to do like, you know, one day I, where I tell my stories or maybe a vlog or um, just different fun things like that. My wish hauls. And then Sundays I will probably upload my encouraging inspirational thingies so let me know what you guys think about that if you think two times a week is good for now I don't want to go too far I don't want to do more than that for now uh, I don't want to overload you guys with this face because come on who wants to see this face every day I know I don't so anyway I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you all to my even more subscribers And those who are leaving comments, I love comments because then I can actually talk with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Have a wonderful week and I will see you all real soon. Bye guys.